Welcome to the Checkpoint Jumpstart Demo Lab. In this training lab, we're going to demonstrate the CloudGuard Posture Management Console. First, connect to the CloudGuard web portal. You will need to authenticate with a valid subscription, username, and password. I don't actually have a valid Posture Management License subscription, so I'm going to use the Checkpoint training environment called DemoPoint. Checkpoint DemoPoint is a great learning and demonstration utility that can help you to learn CloudGuard solutions and also some other Checkpoint products. You can access a DemoPoint if you're a Checkpoint employee or a Checkpoint distributor or a reseller. For more information on how to get started with DemoPoint, you can search our Checkpoint website for how to get started with DemoPoint. Let's get right into it. We first need to log in to the CloudGuard native portal. You just need to open a web browser and go to the CloudGuard native portal website. Once you've logged in, you will notice a familiar look to this interface. It's designed to look similar to the R80 smart console. With all the main menu features designed in a linear fashion on the left side of your screen. And if this is the first time logging into the CloudGuard console, it could be a bit overwhelming at first. And that's because this console was designed to service most of the CloudGuard products. For the scope of this video, and also for simplicity's sake, we're going to focus only on the CloudGuard posture management menu options and drill only on these features and their capabilities, which is about half of the menu features that you see here. The other half is related to other CloudGuard products that we mentioned about in the lecture part. But as of yet, I have not done any specific training on them. Maybe in a future video, I will elaborate more on these other products. Remember I talked about cloud intelligence and threat hunting? Well, here's a product menu for that product, which is called the intelligence icon. I also mentioned about the CloudGuard workload protection. Well, here's that menu icon for that product. I also talked about CloudGuard WAP, web applications and API protection, and shift left is kind of related to that. The only reason I mentioned these other products is like I said, this CloudGuard console can be overwhelming the first time you log in. And that's because, and I just want to point out that these other products are also managed by this same CloudGuard console. But on this video, I just only want to focus on learning about the CloudGuard posture management features. And so you can ignore the other CloudGuard products, menus, and their features. Now remember, in our lecture portion of this video training, I emphasize that there are four main core topics that a posture management solution should be able to do. And I stress them over and over again. And these four main core topics that we talked about are visibility, inventory, compliance, and security. Now let's go over these key main topics again, but now with the Clark Guard console. When we talked about visibility, I mentioned that your posture management solution should be like a window into your whole cloud infrastructure. Now there's no specific menu icon for visibility, but in fact, you can say that all these cloud guard menus will give you the full visibility into your cloud. All of these posture management icons will give you the visibility into your cloud infrastructure in some way or another. And I know there's a bit of overlap in some cases, but that's fine. Better to give you more details than less. But I think the best place to start the visualization of your assets is at the overview tab. This is the great place to start because it gives you a nice and compact format and a complete summarization of all your assets that have been onboarded from your clouds or multi-clouds. And here is where you have the home dashboard page, the main page to monitoring your cloud environments. As you can see, the Checkpoint Demo Point account has four monitor environments, one account for each cloud provider and one Kubernetes account, which is a total of four accounts. And also notice that we have close to 3000 total assets in my inventory at the time of this recording. This list keeps growing. 
and all of these assets are distributed across these four CloudGuard accounts. We can also see a breakdown of all the top protected assets and also a chart listing all the protected assets per platform. You can also see a bunch of other stats and statistics and also alerts listed by top accounts and also by top alerts. All of these are what we call widgets. You can shift the widgets around on the home page to give you the look and feel that you want. You can customize your home page with your favorite stats and statistics and widgets. And you can even create your own home page with your favorite tools and utilities and widgets. Another icon related to visibility is the events icon. Here you can see all of the events and logs that have been generated and triggered by various engines. In this case, we see that the compliance engine has triggered a few alerts, some with high and medium and low severity. And also you can see which cloud environments trigger these alerts. Notice that we have over 30,000 events. You can even export all of these events if you so choose. We can spend a few hours here exploring all the features in this interface, but for now I just want to point out the main core topics. Another core topic that we listed that your posture management should be able to do is a list of your inventory. And here we have the assets icon, which contains a complete list of all your assets. In the environment tab, again, we have the four environments and we can drill down into each environment to see all the protected assets and policies that were assigned to those assets. In the protected assets tab, here you can see close to 3000 assets. You can filter by platform, environment, region, networks, or other criteria. Let me show you some of this. Let's select Azure environment, and then select asset type as virtual machine. When we click on an asset, we can get the full details of those assets. And you can see the inbound and outbound firewall rules. Another main topic that we talked about was the compliance. Your posture management solution should be able to run compliance assessments. And look here at this icon. Here we have the posture management icon, which encompasses both the compliance and the best practice rules. In the welcome page, I really like this new welcome page. I like how Checkpoint has organized all the posture management main features into a centralized landing page. And from the centralized landing page, you can launch all the posture management features. You can check your compliance status. You can run compliance assessments. You can manage best practice rules and rule sets. And you can even manage your policies and configure automatic remediation. In this landing page, we have the main features that we can execute with posture management, just with a simple click of a button. Now, another core feature that we talked about in the lecture part of this series was security. You need to make sure that your cloud assets are as secure as possible. And so here we have the network security menu. This is your cloud network security. And here again, they've added a welcome landing page. I think the centralized landing page is a blessing. It is very intuitive. It helping you to understand and navigate through the menu options. And from here, you can inspect your network configurations. You can explore your actual traffic. You can even check out your traffic logs and review your cloud security groups. Next, let's take a look at identities with the identity icon. Again, we have the welcome landing page, which is a great organized jumping point into your cloud identities. Notice that it is grouped in two. We have the visibility menus, and that gives us a view of your account activities, of activity logs, and cloud users and cloud roles. And we also have the IM safety. Here you can create your users and roles and even elevate privileges. 
Now let's skip the workload protection and intelligence and shift left icons. As I mentioned, these icons are for other Cloud Guard products that we briefly mentioned in the introduction phase in lesson one of the lecture series. And finally, we come to the resource icon. Again, we have a welcome landing page. And here, it's basically links to documentation and administration guides, to the release notes, also a quick link to the Checkpoint Support Center if you want to quickly look up an SK or an article. We also have links to additional reference material, links to the API reference manual, links to the GSL reference guide, and link to the CloudBot resource page. You can even check out the status of all of our CloudGuard checkpoint servers, and even a link to directly open a case with Checkpoint. And finally, we have the settings section. Here, you can check out your account information. You can even change your password. You can even get your CloudGuard mobile app from the Apple App Store and even an app from the Google Playlist. Now, there's a bunch of other features that I did not get to in this intro. Since for now, I just wanted to give you a high-level view of the CloudGuard native portal. And if you want more information on any of these features that we talked about, you can get more information at our Checkpoint YouTube channel. That brings us to the end of this overview. I hope to see you in the next Jumpstart training video series. Until then, so long and bye for now.